Hi, it's uh, Kevin Rudd here, uh, currently working in New York, but uh, previously resident in Canberra doing the odd thing or two. Uh, I certainly remember the 1980s when Therese and I uh, were regular parishioners at St. Paul's Monica. It was a wonderful um, community, uh, a wonderful community of worship, and also a wonderful community uh, which reminded us all of our responsibilities to each other. Uh, I remember dragging our kids along there when they were tiny tots. I remember the Queen visiting and my daughter, uh, Jessica, presenting, I think, as a three or four year old, the Queen with a posy. Um, I remember also being a uh, server um, at St Paul's. If anyone has any uh, outstanding video collection, the idea of me dressed in white robes uh, serving at St Paul's is probably the rest, something the rest of the country would not like to see. But nonetheless, I enjoyed very much doing it and being part of this community of worship. It's certainly a tradition which uh, Therese and I over the years have cherished as we've moved from one uh, Anglican parish to another around the world. Our home parish in Brisbane is uh, St John the Baptist in Belimba. Uh, and my home parish here in New York and our home parish when Therese is here with me, which is a fair bit of the time. Uh, is uh, in the Church of the Heavenly Rest, which is on Fifth Avenue uh, in New York. But the community of worship back there in Monica is certainly uh, something which stays clearly in my mind. So all the best on this, the 82nd anniversary of the dedication of St. Paul's, and may there be 82 long years still to come uh, in its work, worship and service for the Canberra community.